Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. In this video, we're going to be looking at the second letter in the solid principles, which is um, O. We've actually dealt with single um, responsibility principle, which is S. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking squarely at open closed principle. So open closed principle states that classes should be open for extension or closed for modification. And what this really means is that um, you shouldn't actually be changing your class every time when you need to make new changes to your code. You should actually just extend on what you've already implemented um, because this actually makes sure that you're not actually breaking existing functionality. You actually just um you know extending on it for it to actually have a different behavior as to you know um, what you're actually expecting and for those of you who missed my previous video please go check it out because that um touches on the single responsibility principle in this video we're just going to focus on an open close principle so let's jump into the ide um, i'm just gonna um, clean this out and also what I plan to do is I'm going to make sure that I push this code to my GitHub um, repository and please I'll put the link down below. You can, or you can download it whenever you want to. I'm just going to like put this in a in all this ones we did in our previous um, in our previous video for single responsibility in there. Let's just um, move that as well in there and what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna make this uh let's just say disabled okay can copy that and then let's move let's paste that out there okay so we have a program for because remember main is the is the is the main entry so i'm just i, I do i just want to disable that for now because i don't want to use this and also i might just uh let's just let's just um like unload this class i'm just gonna i'm just gonna exclude this um program file from the project actually but i'm gonna push it up because i still want you guys to have all of this so um, for this one, I'm just going to rename it back to main and then I'll remove all of this stuff we did in the previous video and also remove the top part as well because we want to focus on open closed um, principle. So open closed principle, so I'm just going to like um, make an example here um, and the example I'm going to make is this, I'm going to, I'm going to set up a uh, a class called lion again <laughs> so let's just use a class called lion right we we'll call it a lion but it's just that this lion is not going to have a it's not going to have a a pop this time <laughs> so in this lion what i just want to do is i want to make a sound right let's say that um, there's a void and then let's say make sound let's call it make sound and then console dot right and then what i want to do is i want to just i want to just raw right that's what the lion does right okay save that and then the next thing we want to do now is we want to we want to um you know call this lion in here let's just call this lion in here say va lion is equals to new lion sorry lion. so this is a new lion now right we want this lion to make a sound okay if i run this the lion is gonna make a very good sound but now the question I want to ask you is 
what if I want to bring in other animals to make their own sound? Like a dog, for instance. I want the dog to be there. Like, how do I achieve this? Because now I've already implemented make sound, right? And I want to, I want to still, I want to still use the same method. I don't want to like, you know, use a different method. I just want to use the same method. But now the problem I have now is that um, this class is actually for a lion and it can only make a lion sound. It cannot make a dog sound. So this is where the principle helps to shape your code in a way that you can actually extend on your current implementation. So the first thing we want to do to resolve this is to actually create a parent class. I'm going to call that class an animal. So we'll call this one animal. And in your animal class, we have, we're gonna make this an abstract. Let's make this an abstract class. Okay, this is an abstract class. And then what I want to do now is I want to actually have that public, and then we're gonna say abstract, we'll make it a void, and then we'll say make sound. So this is actually our abstract class and remember from my previous video when you have an abstract class it has to be inherited by a child class or a derived class. So you have this make sound now. So this actually makes it easy now for me to extend on the make sound because I have a make sound now in this animal class and I'm going to show you that now. But now before we do that the lion now has to inherit from animal. Okay. And when the lion inherits from the animal, um, guess what? You just have to make sure that you override the actual parent class. And see now that I've over, uh, it's overriding it. Just pay attention to that. Whenever you have an abstract method, like I do, uh, like I do here, just make sure that in the child class you're overriding it so that you can do what you want to do with it. But now, with this, I have animal, I have lion. Um, sorry, let's close this actual file. In here, now I can now say, um, let's actually make the, the animal the animal and say, this animal is a lion, and then the lion actually makes that sound. But guess what now? What this has opened up for us, this structure we just put in place now, what the value it has put in place was, I can actually extend X out, I can use it do different other other behaviors it doesn't have to make the sound of a lion anymore it can make you know different sounds now so now let's actually add another class and call this one a dog class okay dog and then in there public in there we're gonna inherit from animal and we can actually now override it's already giving me red to tell me that i need to override implement the abstract class you can see there and all i want to do is just um i don't want to draw an exception i want to actually make my sound now which is woof. okay and guess what if i actually use the same animal class now i can now say animal is dog at this time it's new dog and i can now say dog dot make sound if i run this now you can see that you would see now that it's making two different sounds now and this actually you can see the raw and it's actually woof so this is actually something you should pay attention to in terms of open closed because it actually helps you to be able to just extend on you know on your code you don't have to uh, so for some for 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 uh, so for example now i don't have any reason to actually go and ahead and actually go change this this actual uh, lion class when what i'm where if i have any issues with this class that is what it actually helps with to be able to ensure that your classes are actually closed for modification and are open for more, for extension you can extend on them and this is actually the example of how you do that this is actually going to be a, a very brief one and as a matter of fact you can add as many animals as you want to add 
you can even add a, a cow let's add a cow so you can see what i mean and add a cow and they can make different different you know different sounds you know cow same story you know it from animal and then it's gonna implement implement the abstract class let's make this public please remember it has to be public and then we just say console dot at line dot move move okay let's clean up all our unused namespaces so to do that i use control r g control r g to actually just remove unused namespaces in visual studio so i have a cow now right and the cow makes move all i need to do is add it here as well animal cow is equals to new cow and guess what cow dot make sound and see that if i run this it's gonna make animal sound so that is actually it and i hope you guys actually understand um, you're understanding these principles as i'm explaining it to you um just let me know if you feel like you know there's still some things you know that you're still struggling with i can actually have like a at some point as well the plan is to actually start using this in real case scenarios we're gonna be developing like business systems together but for now let's just understand the basics and then we can actually you know take it from there but i hope to see you in my next video uh, because the next video is going to touch on l which is liskov substitution <laughs> principle <laughs> so yeah um i really don't know why they call it liskov but <laughs> when we get there you would actually would would learn would learn what that is all about so keep all and um Stay safe.